Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Web Gear Review. I am your host, the Web Gear Guy, and today I would like to take a look at what is known as the Linclo LCE uh, 30 round magazine pouch, okay? Now, the nomenclature on this pouch here would be uh, small arms, ammunition, 30 round magazine, M16. The federal stock number on this here item that you see is uh, 84654642084, okay? Now, this was a 30-round magazine pouch that was designed to hold three 30-round magazines of 5.56, five, okay? Now, uh... This magazine pouch, as I already said, is called the, we refer to it as the Linclo or the L-I-N-C-L-O-E and then low carrying equipment. And that stands for lightweight individual clothing and equipment. Okay. Now, during the Linclo project, they actually come up with a whole slew of gear. They come up with a small, medium, and large rucksack. They come up with uh, ammunition pouches, canteen pouches. Um, come up with a belt. They come up with spinsers. The, the, the whole basic load-carrying equipment that they had designed during that time. And uh, basically, that project ended out at the final end of it. Basically, the items ended out turning into the things that was accepted basically as the M1972 gear, which I will have some upcoming videos on the M1972 gear, okay? But anyhow, now the first one that the Linco project come out with was it was shorter. It was only a 20-round uh, magazine. It held four, uh, four magazines of four of 20 rounds, excuse me, okay? So each pouch carried 80 rounds, and it was requested, hey, how about some 30-round magazine pouches is what we really need. So they would have 90 rounds per pouch instead of the 80 rounds per pouch with the first design of the Linco uh, uh, pouch that they come out with. Now, on the first design, the little, uh, the shorter one that carried the four, uh, uh, magazines, uh, they decided to put these here, what you see is these hand grenade pockets on them. See that? So you can just drop a hand grenade in them right there. And so when the 30 round was suggested, what they did was here's how they come up with this pouch right here. They took this old one right here, the 30 round that already existed, this one here that they had come up with at the end of the the, uh, the M1968 uh, gear. In fact, if you look on my channel, I have a video on this very pouch right here, okay? So what they did was they took this pouch right here, they added these side pockets to it, right here to carry hand grenades instead of these just little loops. But anyway, and then what they done was somebody within the uh, design team uh, had the bright idea to, uh, to put a internal retention system on it, okay? And I'm gonna show you that right here in this one. And Whoever designed this was obviously had never been in combat. And the reason I say that is because any fool could see that an internal retention system inside this pouch is just going to take longer to deploy magazines. You see that? Right there. That's why I always say that, in my opinion, they should have uh, combat veterans on a design team for load carrying equipment because they kind of know what works and what won't work. This here, I don't know whose idea that was, but it indeed got in the way of uh, flash deployment, uh, deployment of the magazines. See, each one of these have that retainer system in them. 
Now, what had happened was, was that basically they took that 30 round patch I had seen you that I have other videos on. They added this retention system. They added these pockets right here and they done away with these, uh, this strap and they put this little tab on here. Okay. So basically these look a whole lot like the, the Alice, uh, M1972 and Alice gear right here. Okay. They look a whole lot like that. But the difference is those right there. But anyway, uh, it was agreed to type class this pouch as designed and as tested. Uh, so the they ended up type classing this. As of March 2nd, 1971, the pouch was initially classified as limited procurement, and it was standardized on January the 31st, 1972. Now, the United States Marine Corps tested many of these components of the uh, Linclo equip, uh, low carrying equipment. Uh, this allowed the United States and Marine Corps to make their own evaluation of what they uh, thought about this equipment. And at first, the Marine Corps said, no way. This here is going to get in the way of uh, quick deployment of, of uh, magazines. And, but however, because there was a shortage at that time of these here, this type here, there was a big shortage. Even in the end of Vietnam, there was a shortage of these. And uh, they decided to go ahead and uh, accept the Linclo magazine uh, pouch there and uh, because they wanted the 30 round capacity. And so they made the decision to approve the pouch for adoption by the United States Marine Corps. The Linclo small arms ammunition case had a 17 year run. And so it went from January 31st to 1972 and it was canceled on October the 12th in 1989. Now concerning the usage of this pouch within the Marine Corps, uh, I've been told by many people and, uh, it's been talked about. Now, I haven't actually uh, seen documentation on it, but I've been told by many people that this Linclo, what you're looking at right here, 30 round magazine ammunition pouch was used in the last battle of the Vietnam War, which was known as the Maguire's incident. And it happened on May the 12th through the 15th in uh, 1975 on Koh Tang Island off the coast of Cambodia. And I have acquired a few pictures of that incident. And, uh, one guy seems to be carrying one of these type, uh, you know, the, the pictures are not real good. And, uh, one guy, it looks like it could be carrying one of these type, but if he did, he didn't have any hand grenades in them. But that's uh, what I've heard. And so what I would like to ask any of you uh, Marines out there that had served during, uh, let's say, uh, from 72 to 89, did you do you remember using these pouches? If you did, make a comment, yes or no, and then maybe the years you served, if you don't mind, uh, just letting us know. Because, you know, this is kind of a, I, I'm just trying to, you know, inform and uh you know be informed about these pouches there's not a whole lot of information on them so anyway don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to uh hit that thumbs up because it really does help and i need all the help i can get here because uh you know i want to bring you these videos and and thank you for watching the web gear review